Hola. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, just really quick, uh, if you guys are into barbecue, ch go check out my other channel. Me and Rob did barbecue crawl up at Cloudcroft at Mad Jack's Barbecue. Mad Jack's Barbecue. So, oh, <laughs> but, but that's barbecue. This isn't a cooking channel, but you know what we're doing today is we're heading on over to Lincoln. Lincoln National Forest. Actually, we're in the Lincoln National Forest right now. It's a little rainy, though. Uh, it is August, but it rains up here at uh, 7,500 feet in August. We're heading to Billy the Kid country, and we're going to go check out where he got his name, where he killed those uh, sheriffs, I guess, bad people. And, uh, you know, we're just going to check it out, and I'm going to bring you along with us, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey, we're almost to Lincoln, and uh, check this out. Okay, you guys might have heard of Lincoln County War. Well, this is the uh, site where uh, kind of, you know, kind of started a lot of these uh, series of uh, violent reprisals, and uh, including uh, the uh, Billy the Kid guy here, huh? You might have heard of, of him. And uh, if you kind of want to lay the land, guys go ahead just uh freeze frame the video and check it out we are headed to uh to lincoln right here and by the way the smoky bear state park is not too far from there read all about it we're also going to hit smoky bears gravesite the original smoky bears gravesite so stay tuned we'll add that at the end of the video All right, guys, so um, there's a lot to see here in Lincoln. So right behind me is the Tunstall store. Uh, of course, it was the Englishman who uh, was the center of the Lincoln County War along with Billy the Kid. It's closed right now. But there was a night where the regulators, Billy the Kid being the member, spent the night here before running out the next morning and killing a couple people in the street as they were escaping. Across the street is the Dolan House. It's a bed and breakfast now. And then here's a better view of the uh, Tunstall store. Tunstall McSween store. We're going to keep walking down this way to the courthouse where Billy the Kid was uh, chained up to uh, await his execution. So here's a little opportunity to own a piece of history. The uh, historic Whirly Hotel is for sale. Uh, by Sheriff Pat Gary. In this frontier, hostily lodged judges during the court terms. I heard the shooting at the county. So, a little bit of history here. For sale, guys. Amazing. And over there is the courthouse. We're heading that way right now. It's still open. This was the uh, Murphy Dolan store. And eventually became the county government courthouse. These are the characters right here. Alright guys, so I'm about to go up a stairway that Billy the Kid went up and went down during his escape I'm taking you. And there he is right there. Uh, supposedly, Billy the Kid shot this uh, Sheriff Ollinger on the way down, and he later he died instantly outside. But this supposedly is a bullet hole in the wall. And here's the stairs right here. There you have it. 
and that's where Billy the Kid escaped. So this room is uh, the old court courtroom. At the time, had a little jail here in the corner. And this line on the floor shows the outline of the area he was shackled to, possibly here in the corner here. Billy the Kid's uh, Leg irons, according to his family tradition, these leg irons were cut off the kid by a blacksmith. So this is the view Billy the Kid would have had when he escaped. Pretty cool. All right, we're walking down where Billy the Kid walked down. History in the making right here. All right, we're on the back of the courthouse now. And I showed you this from the Second floor, but here's Bell's spot where he uh, may have died after being shot by Billy the Kid, of course. Kind of a view from out back. Okay, there's the window where, uh, again, where Billy Kidd was shackled, and uh, there's where Ollinger died. And he took off in that direction right there, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, that was just a quick stop in Lincoln. You know, I don't got time to uh, go through every little site with you. My battery's actually getting kind of low. Me and Rob are going to start heading back to Alamogordo because we're here for work. All right, so I thought the trip was over, but uh, I'm a little thirsty, so we're going to check out the beer here, local beer. All right, guys, so we're in Capitan, New Mexico. Uh, we're just about 10 miles west of Lincoln. Uh, we're at the Smoky Bear State Historic Park um, Museum and Gift Shop. So we're going to try to get in and show you the uh, resting place of uh, the original Smoky Bear. So we barely made it here. It's like about to close in six minutes. Luckily, Rob here has the cash because they don't take debit <laughs> cards. But uh, hey, if you're in this area, this part of the country, it's worth it to make the stop here. Uh, you know, the original Smoky Bear, you know, there was a devastating fire here near Capitan and they found the kiddo, a little sucker, clinging to a tree as mama was burned. So they took him to the, uh, you know, National Museum in D.C. or whatever, became the uh, mascot for fire safety. Uh, there's been many Smoky Bears since, but the original Smoky Bear 
is buried here. And he was buried under the cover of darkness. And uh, they put a big granite rock boulder over his grave to prevent uh, grave robbers from uh, desecrating. So, hey, for the kids and just people like us, hey, it's, it's worth the stop, guys. Come check it out. And he was buried under this boulder here. Hope you enjoyed this tag along, guys. Come here on your own. Check it out. Spend an entire day. You'll love it. So um, glad you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe and check out later.